Yo, what's up, it's like 17 g and today we're going to do some matches with our Lucario Garchomp deck. And it looks like we are indeed going first, so that is fantastic. With this Lucario Garchomp deck, you really want a setup so your opponent does not have the upper hand. And we are going first, so that is a big plus. And looks like we're gonna be putting down Variolu as well, and we have a Fighting Energy to go with the boot. So we're gonna put down a Fighting Energy, and we have enough to actually get a Turn One and Bridget with some stuff going. So we're gonna get Lele here, and we're gonna go for that Turn One and Bridget. We're gonna be doing two matches today. I think two matches every every other day, every day to do it for a deck. I think three is too long. So we're going to be doing a, a turn one of Bridget here, we're going to be getting a, a Gibble, a Raul, and a Ringo. And then we're going to instruct for one and after that we are going to pass as well. So that is a perfect setup for our, for our turn. It looks like he's going for a heavy boy hair looking for a top with Gulu. And he see an old boy hair. Looks like he's going for a Lele, I would think. He did toss out a oh he goes for a ring right here. He did toss out a big board though. I don't know why, but every time I record something, we always raise the top of Gulu. Big vote first, so that's pretty funny. And it, it's going to be our turn as well. We do see another fighting energy, which I am going to be part onto this um, Gibble. We are going to be using N as well, so we are going to be drawing some cards. And we do have a Ryolu, which is fantastic. You don't have to look for it with Ultra Ball. Or with our other Lucario. Once we get um, Garchomp going, we can go for an Anesthesia. We can go into a Goodbye, and we can use Cynthia next turn as well. If we can find a um, Garchomp, that would be amazing with Cynthia. It looks like he's trying to see if he can get that top of Bulu in the active ready to go and it looks like he does have a Grass Energy and a Cynthia here looking for some stuff. He's not going to get the Bulu in the active spot yet because he's going to have to get a strong charge going and he's going to have to attach an energy as well. It looks like he's going to get another grubbing down and using a Vine Grip which is not great for him at all. So we're going to be using Ultra Ball, we're going to get rid of this um, energy and we're going to get rid of the Gibble to actually search for a Garchomp here and now we're going to use Garchomp and then we are going to use Cynthia next to have some very very good thing and the good thing about Faith and Top Bulu is that um, we don't have to worry about having choice ban, we don't have to worry about two shot in it or anything like that. So that's pretty good. We have a very candy Garchomp, which is amazing. So that's excellent. And we can actually just go ahead and Royal Blade for 200 damage on the Gibble, which is pretty insane. But we can actually um, Guzma here, but I doubt he is going to bring out the top of Bulu though. So we basically don't have the Guzma. Maybe he had very candy. Um, Bigger Vault, who knows. He is going to Sycamore, another type of Bulu, and a Rare Candy as well. How many Rare Candy is that? That's only one Rare Candy, so that's fine for him. He does have a couple more Rare Candies to go, but maybe some surprise. We do have another Garchomp ready to go as well. It looks like he is going for a second attack with the other 
copy Bully because he did not have enough for um, an attack with this copy Bully. Because he already attached an energy to the bottom copy Bully. So that's perfectly fine with us. We do, yeah, we do see him give up there. That was a pretty quick one. We do have one more to go. Copy Bully is either a miss or a hit. But this time it was a miss by him. Looks like we're going to be going for one more round. And if that one is a quick one, we're going to be going for another one. But if it's a normal one, then we're going to go through it and then end it there. But we'll see. Um, we are going to be doing uh, either one or two more rounds just to see how it goes, how long it is. Don't want it to go too long though. It looks like we're facing, or until we lose, or like either one. Looks like we're facing a, um, a fire deck, water deck. Looks like it's full of Kenyon. And we are going to be going first, which is excellent. Just like last turn. Last game, I should say. And it looks like we do actually get a mulligan here. Which is not bad. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of bad, but it's only one mulligan. So it looks like we have a mulligan here. So we did mulligan a couple of times. We only got three times, but that's fine. We do have Cynthia to give some cards. We have Varul here. We don't have a guard champ ready to go just yet. Like we're facing some type of weird volcanian deck. I'm not really sure what to call this. And we're just gonna have we have Bridget. We have a turn two Bridget, not really a turn one Bridget. But that's basically fine. We want to see what our opponent's playing. Anyway, he got a Rattata, which is like BR when he start out. So it looks like he is a brand not new to the game. I may be wrong. It looks like he's just putting a fun deck. And it looks like it is going to be our turn. We do have a Gibble. We are going to use a Bridget to get a Gibble and a Lucario and another Gibble. It looks like, I think that would be pretty fine here. We do have three Gibbles going. We can't actually put this E and pass. It looks like we're going to do the slow game here. But that's fine. And we do have a Vatata. Diggy up the mall. And we see a fire energy going on to the Volcanian as well. Is this a Volcanian deck or something else? He is gonna put dirty socks. So we're gonna have some dirty socks tonight. So we are going to be putting a uh, fire energy like always, and we have a 50 here. And we do indeed get a very candy guard trump, which is awesome here. And we can indeed uh, put that there. We can actually put a choice band onto the guard trump. It doesn't really matter. Because we're trying to get some cards and see if we can get Lucario going. And we get another very candy guard trump, which is fantastic. And we're gonna go with a pass here. We already have a few setups. All we really need is a Lucario going. I mean, it, it's not bad once he gets set up. I wish he had the materials you need, like a card trump Lucario and stuff like that. You really one shot your opponent's active Pokemon, even if there is a stage one, all you need is a choice band. And a pretty much got him. We see a Ponyta coming down onto the bench with agility, a flip coin, his head, pretty much all diamonds attached. 
including damage done to the dog, Pokemon during the opponent's next turn, and we got Flame Tail doing 20 damage. So, we have uh, Radicate here, and we got Volcanion over there. Looks like he's doing Steam Up, only four basic Pokemon. So, Radicate is not doing the extra damage for Steam Up. And we do indeed get, and I want to instruct this and see what other cards I might get. Uh, we get a field blower. Well, that's fine. We're going to get removed this weakness policy. And we're going to be using, and we don't want to put that energy down just in case we have a. Wow. So we're going to put energy there. And then we're gonna pedal pad, looking for those two Cynthia's to put them back in. And the pass, because if we want to retreat next turn, we want to start taking some knockouts here. We don't need any more Rikani, so we can easily the sick more than away. So that's actually kind of good because he's going to knock out our Ringuru with Volcanic Heat. So that's no worries for us. He's going to be taking one prize if we're going to be taking two. And that's, I see that's only um, his real attacker in this deck right now. We do have two guard drums, which is fantastic. And we see a Tauros from... Theme deck. It looks like it's just a theme deck sign. I don't think that's his set sign symbol. So we do see a Taurus though. So it looks like he just got a theme deck and he wanted to play. Which is fantastic. It's a great way for you guys to start out if you guys are new to the game. So that's pretty sweet. It looks like we got there, and it looks like we're using the Professor Sycamore, the Sycamore for 7 fresh new cards. And we finally get a Lucario coming, which is fantastic, and we have two Thinthias as well. So we're just going to quickly Warrior Blade here for 130 damage, but he can't attack his next turn. So uh, that's going to be a bummer. He can't attack next turn, and yeah. He does put a energy on the Taurus. Now we can just easily knock out this. Th we can just easily knock out this thing real quick. And it looks like he's gonna be using a nether dirty socks. This is pretty nasty to do things on myself. And we are going to be taking the price card, sorry about that. So let's say you're going to attach some energy here. It looks like he doesn't want his Volcano and EX to get knocked out.
Hmm. Now let's see what he tries to do here. And it is going to be our turn. We do have a Guzma here. We can indeed knock out this Volcanion, taking two fresh new prizes. Guzma is always a good card to have um, if you guys are new to the game and um, you guys want to get some Guzma, that is a good way to um, have um, if you guys are new to the game, Guzma is good um, and it's always good, Sycamore is as well. But that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys like, share this video if you guys are new and we do have two wins. Before I did that, I did um, try to do the other recording too, but those didn't go out as well as this one. Um, so hopefully you guys like the video, subscribe if you guys are new, and share as well. At least we did come up with two victories, so that's pretty sweet. We did beat a Tapu Bulu, which is, we always beat Tapu Bulu when we were recording against him. And we did face a weird deck as well, but hopefully we're going to do more matchup. Hopefully we get more competitive decks for you guys. And this is Lucky17CG, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.